Hi guys, welcome to another speed build. Uh, today I am furnishing finally the green build that I uploaded a few days ago. Oh my god, my brain isn't working. This is going to be such a great voiceover. Um, <laughs> I yeah, I built this a few days ago, just the exterior, no floor plan, uh, just some focusing on some landscaping and making the house look really, uh, really eco-friendly, really really green <laughs> and I actually placed it on this lot in Brind Brindleton Bay oh my god I can't talk uh, because I think it the fact that it sticks out uh, so obviously is actually part of why I love it so much I think you know what and it's it's true to real life I think a lot of green homes uh, stick out like a sore thumb these days and yeah I wanted to mimic that and I wanted to really bring the the exterior inside the house so there are there's a lot of ivy in this house <laughs> a lot of green walls a lot of plants and I've tried to make it look you know not completely neutral so I've got you know I've, I think there's quite a bit of orange throughout the house and I do I do love orange it's one of my favorite colors um, but yeah just adding a little bit of color a little bit of orange and blue here and there but mostly keep it to like um, pretty earthy tones to sort of emulate that that sort of eco feel um so yeah i spent a really long time uh the video sped up four times um <laughs> i spent so long placing resizing the the ivy and putting it on that uh staircase i spent a really really long time but yeah i mean you can already see there's there's a ton of green walls and i'm not mad about it because you know <laughs> i i i feel like i rely on like green walls inside homes to sort of fill up space and create a bit of interest and I know you know I should branch out and do something more but um, <laughs> for this house specifically I, I was like well I'm just gonna stick to what I know and what I'm good at what I love because um, I think it looks really great and I think it you know, ties in perfectly with the house uh, I went this is this is the kitchen area here and you know that I couldn't get the plant kept clipping through the wall and it was driving me nuts I hate it um, I couldn't decide on floor coverings and I think I end up going for a mixture of tiles and floorboards just to make it a little bit more interesting. But yeah, I almost went for that stony sort of flooring but I thought maybe it looked a little bit too rustic because this is inspired by modern eco homes so it's, you know, got to be um, quite modern but like I said I still wanted to keep it pretty earthy. Um, I do make a lot of, <laughs> I do a lot of stupid things in this video. So just a, just a heads up. Um, I did this last night. Uh, I think I started at like 8.30 and I <laughs> generally I'm in bed by about 9, 9.30. So I was sort of losing brain power. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm sorry. There's a, there's a few stupid mistakes, but uh, it's entertaining, <laughs> entertaining at least. But yeah, I think I, the problem with when I build houses, and I'm sure a lot of people are like this, is that I don't think about uh, floor plans at all. I just build, and then then I look at the inside, like the interior of the house, and I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> what, what am I supposed to do with this? So, I think um, a lot of the issues that I run into with building, I have, I create myself by not thinking of floor plans and how a sim's gonna live in this house. I just make it look good on the outside. I'm like, all right, now let's throw some rooms in and uh, but I think this floor plan actually worked uh, surprisingly well uh, it's it's not it's probably not as big as I thought it would be the house looks quite big from the outside but you know a lot of the the second story is taken up by the, the roof um, it's actually yeah taken up quite a bit of the house and of course once you add stairs stairs although they they don't actually take up that much room they really do because you've got to sort of plan around them and it, it can be a bit awkward um i'm just trying to think what i go for in the bedroom because i don't think i keep that uh that carpet i really really don't like the carpet in the sims 4 and i hate to say it i do typically use custom content carpet that's Probably a little bit more detailed, um, not not super realistic, you know, still what people like to call Maxis match, so, you know, it's still not too far from the game, like it doesn't look out of place, but something that was just a little bit more detailed because I think, you know, the, the floorboards and the tiles are quite detailed and then that carpet specifically just 
is really strange to me. It's really uh, grainy, <laughs> really low low quality. Uh, so I think I do change that, but I mean, I, maybe I don't. I don't know. This was <laughs> this was last night, and then I'm I'm recording this voiceover tonight, and you know it's almost ten o'clock, and I've been at work all day. I'm so tired. So <laughs> imagine actually being able to build a house and film a voiceover, uh, not being exhausted. I might actually be quality. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be. I think I, yeah, I normal look, I normally struggle with beds, um, but I think I actually found this pretty easy. I typically only use <laughs> maybe two or three beds in The Sims because I think I went into this in another video, but I absolutely hate, like I hate so much the, the bed swatches that we have. It's like, can you please just let us pick the color of the bed frame and the color of the the doona cover we, well, we call it a doona cover in australia but i can't remember what the what the other word for it is in like america like a comfort i don't know a duvet <laughs> i don't know it's a doona um i wish that we had a little bit more control over that like there's so many beds that would look so much better with just a plain white doona cover but you know the, don't get me started I, I think i've already like i said i've already got into it but um, so I'm just trying to make this bed a bit more interesting because we've got the the roof covering the outside of this wall I've pushed using the move objects sheet I've pushed the bed into the wall to hide the bed frame and created sort of create my own bed frame I do go back and fix it up a little bit later and these shelves getting the height right was infuriating <laughs> um, but yeah just try, try to create something a little bit different rather than just chucking a bed there um, that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm looking at doing with you know, uploading videos to YouTube and, and setting challenges for myself is learning how to do things differently because I am, I love the Sims. I love building, but I get so stuck in my own ways of doing things and every house I build ends up looking the same. I use the same furniture, I use the same, use the same techniques. So this is something quite different for me. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I do like it a lot. Uh, this is the ugly part of the house that I don't like. I don't know why I chose that dresser. I know, I think I was going for kind of like an industrial, earthy sort of, earthy sort of, <laughs> earthy sort of vibe, but it didn't. Uh, I think, I think looking back at it, it didn't really work. And I'm, I'm mm, well, contemplating going, sneaking back in and changing it to another dresser before I upload this to the gallery. But uh, I guess I'll just stay true to the build. Uh, it doesn't look that bad. I'm just overly critical of myself <laughs> and like I said there's a lot of plants in this house as you can see here I think it's about here that I decided that I was gonna make uh, orange sort of the feature color for everything where possible I didn't want to overload the house with too much orange but I wanted to do you know neutrals and pops of orange and the green from the plants obviously and I think there's a few like maybe greeny aqua items uh, this is the little trick. <laughs> How cute are all the dogs? This is a little trick that I do to um, save time. You just fill up all the slots on a piece of furniture and then you can use the move object objects sheet to raise things up and place them freely rather than snapping rather than then snapping to the slots. I'm really struggling with my brain and my thoughts coming out tonight. I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> Um, it's, it's been quite a hot day. I think it's, it was only 20 something degrees, which has been really cold in comparison, but I don't know if I, I don't think I've mentioned this. My air conditioner in my car doesn't work and it was sitting in the sun all day. So I had to drive home. It took about an hour and a half in the traffic instead of 40 minutes normally. So I had to sit there in traffic, not getting any air in through the windows and just sweating, like sweating so, so much. And it was not a fun time. And ever since then, I think I've been a little bit, <laughs> a little bit frazzled. Um, we went straight to pretty much, I got home and we went straight out. We actually went to the vegetarian vegan food truck park in Preston, um, in Melbourne. And, you know, we got there, uh, it took us about, like, we got home after about an hour and a half drive, quickly got changed and it took us about another hour to get there. So... I've been in cars a lot this afternoon and just, uh, I'm so tired and sick of driving. <laughs> it's probably not the best time to do a voiceover, but I am full of 
delicious vegan food and I am very very grateful <laughs> we had uh, some vegan nachos and so we shared some vegan nachos and a vegan hot dog which had you know mustard and jalapenos and onion and obviously vegan cheese and then I had possibly the best peanut butter ice cream I've ever had in my life or the best ice cream uh, and it, it was vegan and it was just a little cup and it was so rich and so peanut buttery but it wasn't overly sweet and the texture was beautiful and oh my god I love ice cream and I love food <laughs> so I really de I definitely recommend um, the Preston food truck park I think if you live in Melbourne you've probably been there before because it's to, it's become like a main attraction but yeah I definitely definitely recommend uh checking it out i think they've got upcoming like an indian street food festival um they've got a middle eastern festival um cheese and wine which sounds right up my alley <laughs> and i think there's a chocolate one as well which sounds great too um completely off topic to change what i was talking about i forgot that you could put computers in this game on tables <laughs> so i was messing around trying to find a way to trick the game to put a computer on a table and then I was like let's just try it oh my god it works I'm such an idiot like honestly I can't believe I didn't know that I don't know I'm sure I knew that and I forgot I'm sure uh we just had a little pause there because last night when I was building this my dog <laughs> decided that he wanted to go outside and he started running around the house barking and I had to um I had to look after him it's really really difficult to find time to film a voiceover probably more than a build uh, without my dog <laughs> causing problems I remember that for the the exterior like build of this house so the first video I uploaded to YouTube I actually had to try the voiceover twice because once the dog decided to come in and he was making noises in my office so then I um, just close the door and I was like okay it's okay be quiet go sit on your mat he's a greyhound he sleeps like that's what he does but uh it started to storm and I've actually got the the recording saved I'm I'm you know talking and babbling on about the the build and then you just hear this crack of thunder and then my dog go off and you can just hear me go <sighs> it's it's actually really really funny so I saved it um yeah, <laughs> I, I might listen to it again because it's just it's just classic, classic Franco. That's my dog's name. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's um he's currently asleep out in the lounge room. Or I hope he is. Uh, please don't make any noise, Franco. I don't want to say his name too loud in case he hears and decides to come to the door. Like, <laughs> um, I haven't talked much about this build. So I realized there wasn't much wall space in this area which I wanted to be the living area because you know I've used big windows uh, I wanted to make the house really open and modern so this is a little trick that I learned I think I think I saw someone do it on reddit I can't quite remember uh, so yeah you can use these little decorative items to make it look like the TVs uh, mounted on them I suppose um, so you can just put it put a wall there and then delete the wall and it's it sits there um, it looks really nice. I add some lights to it too, some fairy lights, and I think it looks really cute. Uh, but yeah, that's a good trick when you want to, I don't know, put a TV, uh, a, a wall-mounted TV, uh, not on a wall on the outside of the house. Um, that was another pause. I think my dog was acting up again. <laughs> but yeah, that, that is a really good trick if you want to sort of separate the, the TV from the actual wall of the house or you don't have any wall space to do so. And I actually do it. I think I do it. With the fireplace so it's kind of like symmetrical the room one side you've got the tv the other side you've got the fireplace i've been really really obsessed with putting fireplaces in my builds lately because i i'm sure i went through a period where i had never used the fireplace in the sims 4 and then suddenly i was like uh well sorry excuse me i really need a drink but <laughs> i'll just sit here dying of thirst it's fine um yeah there was this I just decided like oh my god I forgot the fireplaces were there and I decided to use them and um, they're pretty much in every single house I do now I don't think it's complete without a fireplace uh, my little trick of the couches it actually is functional in the game uh, but it only really looks good with the black swatch otherwise you can really really notice the clipping I mean you can notice a little bit here and I do try to hide it with the plant and the, and the lamp 
but yeah, it is it is a little bit noticeable in the game, but it's not too bad being the the really dark couch. But I wouldn't do it with like a white couch or or anything like that. And I just had to pause <laughs> my voice recording again because my dog got up. Um, he's so naughty. It's so funny. He sleeps for oh, like maybe eight between eighteen and twenty hours a day, but he just nighttime there's this period at night time usually when I'm trying to do things or when I'm trying to sleep he's like play time and it's so frustrating <laughs> I just I just wish he understood English I could be like look why don't we go crazy during the day or when I get home that's fine it's bedtime now but um no he just <laughs> he's got a obviously got a mind of his own his dog but um I don't know it's, it's just part of his personality I just expect it from him now I think I can actually hear him whinging to go outside, but <laughs> um, he'll be okay. He's he's been out. He's recently been doing this thing where he just wants to go outside like four or five times a night. He'll just come in for twenty minutes and go outside for half an hour, and then whinge to come in, and then twenty minutes later go outside. And it's like, what are you doing? What? Uh, it's really frustrating, but I've uh, I can't really blame him for it. Like I guess um. I guess he just wants to explore. He comes inside and realizes he wants to go back outside or maybe he realizes it's a huge inconvenience and he just wants to inconvenience me. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. He's, he's pretty naughty and he knows what he's doing is naughty. Like he knows going, you know, being inside and outside, inside and outside is, is being naughty. He knows he's, you know, this is your time to go outside, go outside, come back inside, then you're in for the night. I don't know if that made sense. <laughs> I mean, all I'm trying to say is he knows he's doing the wrong thing. I feel like most dogs know that they're doing the wrong thing and they just don't care. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so this is what I meant about the fireplace, uh, doing the same thing so it's all symmetrical. And at first I didn't like it, but I was like, look, I'll just, whatever. I've been so fussy with this build, just leave it. It's fine. And um, yeah, looking back on it now and in the screenshots, I do actually quite like it. I think it's adds something interesting to the house. It's just a bit different. But I do wish we had L-shaped couches without having to uh, cheat it. Um, I really would. I, I will hope that gets added to The Sims 5. Um, you know, like a baby. I know we've got recliner-ish looking chairs, but, you know, if we had something that had like a chase or, yeah, like an L-shaped couch. And we've got those modular couches. I think they're, are they from Dine Out? But they're not really couches. They're huge and they're like booth couches so you know like a proper modular couch would be awesome as well <laughs> i'll just send ea a list of all the things i want for the sims 5 i'm sure they'll listen to me that's fine i've got eight subscribers and i'm a pretty big deal <laughs> oh my god i need to shut up um oh yeah i put a little meditation corner here i actually think it's really cute i would like something like this in my house if i ever eventually get to buy or build my own house just something I really want to do. I really want to build my own house. I actually work um, without giving away too much. I work in like the construction ish industry and I deal with new home builds a lot. And it's something that I've wanted since I got into this industry. Like it's so I I experience the stress through my clients and I know how stressful it is and how many things can go wrong, how expensive it is, but it hasn't deterred me. I still really, really want to build my own house. So hopefully one day, <laughs> and trust me, there's going to be a lot of green walls, even if they're fake, like I'd prefer them to be real, but I understand that's, I mean, I can't even keep a single, uh, like succulent in a jar alive. So I don't know, maybe I'll have so much money that I can pay someone to take care of my green walls. <laughs> yep. I'll just keep dreaming. Um, onto the kitchen. Kitchens are pretty much my favorite thing to furnish now. I was trying to do something funky with, with the counter here, but it just didn't work. And I, I think it's just because I'm too stupid. Um, <laughs> I don't actually know that much about building. I just throw things together and hope it works. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, that didn't, it really didn't work. But I do actually do something I like with the stove top. I put it, I put it in this island counter and I think that is a little bit more realistic. But you will, you might notice that counter disappeared where that uh where that stove is the counter disappeared i didn't delete it and it actually shows up in the screenshots <laughs> you can see it like clipping through the stove um but i 
I'm just leaving it there. <laughs> I can't be bothered moving it. So if you download this house on the gallery, just delete it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm useless. <laughs> um, this little trick here, uh, it just saves a little bit of time. If you can put a shelf like hidden in the fridge, some items you can just pop there and they'll snap to the slot on the shelf. Some other items like that, your little utensil tin thing, um, you've still got to lift up. But I think it saved a tiny bit of time. And I mean, it's there if, if anyone downloads this house on the gallery and um, wants to put something else there, it might help you. Uh, I was trying to do like a little grid, like, you know, I don't know, they're in Ikea and Kmart and that at the moment that you can hang like pots and stuff off in your kitchen. But this just, it just didn't look right. Maybe if there'd been an orange swatch of, of that one. But I know I just just couldn't get it to look right. I used this tree thing, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, uh, for literally the first time ever in The Sims, just because it was there and I was like, huh, I haven't used that before. Um, so there's, and, and these stools I hadn't used before. So there you go, I'm, I'm changing as a person. I don't know why I put that there, just because I want it to seem, I don't know, a little bit like realistic. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying not to use too much clutter. I've explained this before, but I did. I do like putting a few clutter decorative-ish objects around, but feel free, obviously, to add your own clutter if you like houses that look super clutter cluttered and realistic. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I don't know. I, th I think it's really functional. The kitchen looks well decorated, but still functional. There's so much counter space. There's enough space for your Sims to prepare meals and um, it though I have used move objects on so there's this bug with move objects on where they will prepare their food uh, not on <laughs> the counters I don't, I don't know exactly how it works but usually they prepare their food over the sink like and their chopping boards like in the sink I don't know how that works go figure <laughs> um, uh, yeah but I, f I found it I think it's the move objects on cheap that causes that and also I find that my sims just never use the sink in the kitchen when I use move objects. Um, they always, always walk past the sink in the kitchen and go to the bathroom and wash their dishes in the sink in the bathroom. So, I mean, this is quite convenient because the bathroom's right next to the kitchen, so it won't be too bad. But in other, build, uh, other you know, houses that I've made, my sims have literally walked upstairs <laughs> to a sink in like an ensuite and wash their dish dishes and it's so frustrating <laughs> like like oh this game can be so frustrating at times um i didn't actually put a dishwasher in this house which i do normally do but uh, i guess i don't even know a dishwasher is more they're not more eco-friendly than if you obviously if you just fill a sink with water and wash your dishes in it but i mean that's a bit dirty i think I don't know how how is the most efficient what is the most efficient way to wash your dishes I feel like I don't have a dishwasher um, normally I sort of half fill the sink with water and just go through with a little bit of running water and I don't know maybe it is a bit wasteful having running water but I do empty out the water in the sink as it gets dirty and sort of fill it up again and why am I talking about washing dishes <laughs> oh my god I've hit like a new levels of pathetic oh god <laughs> oh dear please keep watching I'm sorry I have more exciting things to talk about than washing dishes <laughs> I'm sorry um, I really like this um, completely oh, pfft, just forget about dishes I really like that little slide table, the marble one. Um, I prefer it in the white swatch because, you know, marble Instagram aesthetic. But that didn't really look too good with the white wall behind it. I think what we do looks pretty cute. Um, I love being able to size down that plant. I use it all the time. <laughs> I, I always use it on like little mantelpiece or on top of fireplaces. I love it so much. That The function to size down things is like the best pat, the best thing they've added to the game since it released like better than pools better than toddlers I can't believe how great it is <laughs> I use it like I use it all the time I can't imagine playing the game without it now like I can't believe we couldn't size things down I know it causes some problems with uh, surfaces and comfort items like you can't size down a, a, a 
counter because it'll, you know, mess up the slots and the things will still sit higher than the actual counter. You get what I mean? <laughs> so it's not perfect, but it is so, so handy for sizing down, you know, plants and uh, paintings and uh, just decoration items. Just a bunch of stuff. I don't know if that washing line is functional, so I'm I'm sorry if it's not. <laughs> oh, we're in screenshots already. I've been babbling for so long. I'm so sorry. So this is the house. Uh, yep. <laughs> I actually, I do really, really like it. So I hope you guys do. Yeah, there's just, a, you know, some pops of color. Otherwise, it's quite neutral and modern. I love the concrete walls with the marble tiles. It's so like luxe, but not. Yeah, I put that little wreath up from Laundry Day just because it's kind of nod to Laundry Day and how it was supposed to be an off the grid pack, but we won't get into that. And yeah, I think the bed turned out really nice. I'm really happy with that. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm sorry if this video was really rambly and long-winded. Oh my god, I'm still rambling. Thank you for watching. I will be uploading another video soon. I hope you're having a great day, night, morning, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.